For today's interview, I want you to explain Model Context Protocol, MCP. What is it and why is it used? MCP was actually created by Anthropic in 2024. Now, it fixes one of the biggest problems with AI systems. Models are great at reasoning, but they can't actually do anything safely with real tools. You mean like APIs, databases, that kind of thing? Exactly. Before MCP, every company had to build their own custom integration layer. Everyone was writing nearly identical code to solve the same problem. Damn, so there's no shared interface. Everyone just kept gluing stuff together by hand? Right, exactly. It was slow, it was inconsistent, it was hard to secure. And MCP changed this by building one standard, one protocol, so that AI systems could talk to real tools. All right, that makes sense, but a shared protocol sounds good in theory, but how does this actually work? What it means is instead of hard coding connections, AI hosts and tools can communicate through a common structure. There are three parts. So the AI host, those are tools like Claude or Cursor. Then we've got the MCP server, which sits in the middle. And then we've got the tools themselves. When AI needs to do something, it doesn't just call an endpoint. It sends a structured request, usually in JSON, to get exactly what it wants. The MCP server interprets it, runs the command safely, and then returns the result. Huh, so the AI is kind of sandboxed, I guess. It knows how to ask, but it doesn't know how to talk to those tools directly. Exactly, so it starts with what is called discovery. The model essentially first asks, what tools do you have? The MCP server, then sends back a list with input and output schemas. The AI then tells the server what it needs and it executes the action. As soon as you connect this many systems, there has got to be security concerns, right? How is it handling this? This is one of the strongest elements of the design. The AI model never directly handles the credentials. It stays on the MCP server. The model sends a request and then the server uses its own authentication to complete the call and then sends back the result. The AI never sees any secrets or tokens. Wait, so even if a prompt got hijacked, the model couldn't leak your API key because it never had it in the first place. Exactly, the separation between intelligence and access makes it secure. 